Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. As you can see, Mama Potter Collector is back in the Potter Collector library and we are going to sample all of the candies that you can purchase at Honey Dukes at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. Yay! There's a lot here, there's chocolate, there's different sweets, and we're gonna be on a sugar high. Where do we start? All right, now I also brought some water so that we can cleanse our palates in between. All right, so why don't you start? I can just choose anything Choose I anything want. you want. Well, this is, right here, has been interesting to me. <laughs> okay. Chocolate cauldron? It's massive. It what, is massive. What is the flavor on top? I don't know. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to like eat it. Oh! Oh! Look. It's an actual little it is. pot on the inside. We and can it's put all our chocolate. candy in it. <gasps> Ooh. Let's not eat it yet. Let's just start with a lollipop. So I'll lick one side, you can lick the other side. This is an acid pop. Like a sour green apple or something? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. This is gonna burn our tongues since it's acid. <laughs> right. <laughs> It is like green, green, it is apple. green apple. Yeah, it's green apple. You called it. Sweeter than I expected. Like it has a vinegary flavor to it yeah. too. But it's not as pungent or as sour as I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter than I thought. It's good. Yeah. Although it does have a weird aftertaste, right? Almost like a artificial flavor. Right. All right. What's next? Pink coconut ice. Okay. Pink coconut ice. It's a creamy coconut confection. I have no idea what to expect. Ooh, smells good. It's almost like a fudge. So it's got two layers. So it has a pink and like a whitish layer. All right, should we go for mm -hmm. it? I like that. If you like coconut, mm -hmm. you'll like this. This is good. It's very coconutty. A lot of people have said that they hate pink coconut ice. I don't want to eat the whole thing, but I have to pace myself. <laughs> yeah, can true. definitely share that with a lot of people. I'm going to go for peppermint toads. Okay. Now break into the chocolate. And peppermint toads are little chocolates shaped like toads. They're cute. And I'm assuming they're going to taste like peppermint. And they come in this Aww. fun blue box. They're the perfect little size. Yeah, no, they, they are. Like, they're the perfect size to eat the whole entire bag. You just keep <laughs> popping them in your mouth. It smells like peppermint. Mm. Ooh, tasty. Tastes like an Andy's mint. Maybe a little more chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Very smooth chocolate. I really like these, too. Yeah. These are good. These have a nice flavor. These would go down very fast. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. That's why I like mm. it so much. Very good. Oh, I like those. Definitely recommend okay, peppermint so, toast. Okay, so far that's my favorite. Um, Let's put this in the favorite pile. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, what's on the end here? Ooh, caramel cobwebs. Caramel flavored bites. Purple box. Very fancy looking. Very fun. Oh, that's fun. They, it looks like they're white chocolate or something. I'm not a huge fan of white chocolate. It's not really chocolate. <laughs> and then there's a cobweb on it. All right, cheers. Cheers. It's like caramel flavored white chocolate. The caramel flavoring is very good. I wouldn't sit and eat all of these. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't eat all of them either. You get a good amount. This is something definitely to try, but it's not something that I would purchase again. No, I mean and that's just a personal opinion. Yeah. But I mean I'm a dark chocolate person. So yeah, me too. Like and, mother and like son. If I see the word caramel, I'm expecting something chewy. Let's go with the jelly slugs. Does not sound very appealing. <laughs> Soft and chewy gummy <laughs> treats. Slugs. Gummy slugs. Whoa! Oh, that ooh, that is kind of gross. Is that gross? Yes. Like, look, I'm they have like little flaps it, it too. It literally looks like a like a slug in the garden. It's At least weird. it's not slimy. So you get different colors, different like greenish sluggish colors, and look at this. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of this one. <laughs> this is the least offensive color I All think. right, eat slugs. No, it's not very good. Yeah. Mm -mm. Are they all the same flavor? I don't know. This one almost tastes like mango. No, banana. It's banana. I'm not a fan of mm. fake banana. Blech. I do not like the slugs. No. <laughs> no, they're not good. All right, pick something good. Ta-da! Dumbledore's favorite, Sherbert Ooh, Lemons. Okay, now that sounds good. Yeah, they're oh. very nice. They come in a pink Honey Dukes tin. I and like those. they're little Sherbert Lemons. Are they hard or soft? They're hard. Yeah, so you just suck on them. There's so much too much sugar on the outside, you don't really get a lemon flavor. I'm waiting for that lemon flavor. Yeah. Now I've had actual sherbet lemons from the United Kingdom and they don't taste like this. They taste much better over there. It's not very lemony, it's not mm -hmm. pungent. I, yeah. like, I'd, I'd like a little bit of sour. Yeah. And it's too sweet. You're, are you past the sugar I'm la past layer the too? Sugar. Me too. And it's still very sweet. It's, it's not, not refreshing. I expect something like this. Yeah, to exactly. Kind of 
Yeah. Like a, a refreshing lemonade. So far, have we found anything that we can put into our little cauldron? Peppermint toads. So we're going to make a potion, and the potion requires <laughs> peppermint toads. <laughs> Just a few. I'm gonna go for exploding bonbons. Very fun packaging, isn't it fun? And it says it is a real boom. Orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. Now I have heard good reviews about these from other Harry Potter fans. They're pretty. Very well wrapped. All right. Are you ready? Oh, cool. I haven't gotten there yet. Eat the whole thing. There's pop rocks in like the center. That. They're exploding. The pineapple is really nice. I wasn't sure about pineapple white chocolate candy. That is a nice flavor. I don't taste the orange very much. It's possible that the Pop Rocks were the orange flavor. I need to do an ASMR. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> I don't know what it stands for, but it's basically where you like go up close to a microphone. I've heard of and that, you, like, yes. do the listening or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyway. That's the Pop Rocks. <laughs> All right, well, the potion requires two bonbons. Okay. I agree to that. As long as we're not putting any slugs in that potion. <laughs> no slugs in the potion. <laughs> All right, next is... Ta -da! Ooh, the sugar quill. And I think you can actually use the quill, well, maybe. You can pretend to. <laughs> no, like if you dipped it okay. in ink, I wonder if it would. Oh, yeah, you probably But could. probably not really, I don't know. You could, technically you could. I don't see a flavor, do you? I don't see a flavor. There were different colors. So it was like a red guess? and a blue one. I'm gonna guess cherry, of course. I would have guessed strawberry. I hope it's not cherry, because I don't like cherry flavor. I think it is strawberry. No, it's cherry! Ah, it's cherry! Maybe the other flavors are better, but... I... <laughs> okay, let's do it! I'm making Mama Potter Collector eat Bernie Potts every flavor beans. Let's do it! <laughs> blindly. Ah. Well, we're both blindly eating them, so... Yeah, but aren't the flavors always the same color, or no? They are. Okay, so you you know. <laughs> you know okay. what you're giving to me. Let's make it fair and close our eyes. Okay. All right, so Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, you can get them in, let me talk about the chocolate frogs for a second. You can get the chocolate frogs in the paper cardboard packaging, and each pack comes with a famous witch or wizard chocolate frog card, or Universal Studios released a chocolate frog tin, and it comes with the same size chocolate frog, but five chocolate frog cards. You get the four Hogwarts founders, as well as Dumbledore in this pack. And this I think is like $12 and this is $25. So if you wanna have all of the cards, this is a good thing to purchase if you wanna start chocolate frog card collecting. Cause there are actually quite a few chocolate frog cards out now. Back to Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. They also released this tin version of the beans and it comes with a little tassel, but you can also get Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans in the cardboard paper wrapping. All right, here I go. <laughs> All right, ready? Whatever I got is good. It's like a fruity. Mine is like a fruity something too. All right, so far so good. I don't know what mine was though. All right. All right, ready? Ready. One, two, three. I think mine is soap, but it's like a sweet soap, so it's not bad. Peppermint frog. Oh, that was awful. Did it taste like vomit? It tasted <laughs> awful. These yeah. are fun to do Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean Game where... That is fun. Right? Even though I got a vomit, <laughs> I'm okay with that. These are definitely recommended, even just to have for your collection to display a Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean box. I prefer the paper box to the tin just because it looks a little bit more authentic, but um, the tin is very nice and it comes with this little tassel. Uh, what's this? Oh, shock a chalk. Add some shock to your chocolate. Dark chocolate with chili powder. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I've not Ooh, had it, but. That sounds amazing. And the packaging, I just love the packaging of all of this. It feels very magical and wizarding world. It smells spicy. Takes a few seconds. Mm -hmm. It's chocolate, and then you start to feel the burn. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's good. taking chocolate to a whole nother level. But it's good chocolate. I like, this like is good it. Dark chocolate. This is fun. I really like this one. This is really fun. Who would have thought? If you don't like hot, you may not like this, but we are hot fans. Mm -hmm. Hot and dark chocolate fans. Definitely worth a try. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the Bing Bongs Ginger Snaps. It's a cookie. Or a biscuit. Oh yeah, depending I think it's, on it might which be a biscuit. side of the pond you're from. Perfect little size. Yeah. Oop, I oh, you a got double. a double. You got twins because you had <laughs> twins. Yes. 
Mm, mm. Very good. A lot of ginger flavor mm -hmm. in that. These are delicious. Yeah. They're just little cookies or biscuits. Very crunchy, mm -hmm. very buttery. I could eat that whole thing easily. Yeah, me those too. are really good. And oh. it comes in a fun tin. Oh man, I could literally eat all of those right now. <laughs> <laughs> those are so good. All right. I want to try the pepper imps. So I'm assuming they're going to be pepper again. Is that like red hots? Maybe. I don't love red hots, so I guess we'll find out. Got to get past the sugar. Mm hmm. No, oh, it's a Red Hot. I just bit into it. I like it. I don't love Red Hots. Not and again, candy. fun packaging. Mm -hmm. This was $6.95, so you, you pay a high price for this candy, but it's displayable too. It actually is a nice little jar that you could use for something else. For pepper. Oh yeah. For pepper. <laughs> no, you really could. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, you get five chocolate frog cards. And what's nice about these is if you already have like a Godric Gryffindor or a Rowena Ravenclaw, you can go into Honey Dukes or Sugar Plums and trade chocolate frog cards with the Universal Studio employees. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you can actually go in and trade your duplicates for cards that you don't have, which is a fun little experience thing that they've included. But this is a good kind of starter set for $25. So you get the four founders as well as Dumbledore. So it's a good starter set and they're really fun chocolate frog cards. And they're constantly releasing new famous witches and wizards to their chocolate frog card line. Let's see who we got in this one. We got a duplicate for her. So these are, I've never had a, a whole chocolate frog. It's, it's, it's solid, it feels solid. Oh, we got a duplicate. Okay. Albus Dumbledore. So I can go into Honey Dukes and trade with, um, one of the team members. No, right. it is solid. It's solid chocolate. I'm gonna bite off You're literally just foot. Yeah. Mmm, creamy. Yeah, it's a milk chocolate and it's delicious chocolate. It's not my favorite because I am a dark chocolate yeah. fan. That's pretty good, yeah. I've gone through one of these like that. We've got two left. Chocolate flavored fudge flies and fizzing whizbees. So is that like a fizzy chocolate? Fizzy, I don't know. It says made with chocolatey fizzy fruits. Save this one for last because I've had these before. I've not had those. But these are chocolate flavored fudge flies. It really does look like a fly. <laughs> it's a little fly. Eating a giant horse fly. Oh. Tastes like fudge. Yeah, definitely a different flavor. Yeah, not just chocolate. It's it's like a fudgy chocolate. It is, it's a, not a fudgy texture. Super smooth. Quite good. You could just keep popping them. The potion requires one fly. Last but not least. The fizzing whizbees. So they're right. little bees? Yeah, shaped like a queen bee. Oh, wow, they're big. Wait, what's that smell? It's a fruity smell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll bet there's pop rock type things in there. Possibly. Mm. Yeah, mm. this is good, but the bee is now buzzing in my mouth. <laughs> it's a Pop Rocks. It's fun candy. I like that. Yeah, these are fun too. I think all of my favorites were chocolate. All right, here we go. You want to try just try the top piece? Yeah. Looks like there's green chocolate, but then oh, it's it's the the green is the the potion inside oh, the cauldron it's the bubbling, bubbling up. The bubbling potion, of course. Yeah. It took us long enough. The potion green portion is just white chocolate dyed green, but then on the the bottom of the potion lid, I guess you would call it, is chocolate, and then the rest of the cauldron is chocolate. And this is a lot of chocolate too. Like this is substantial and then it just looks like a little cauldron that you can eat. I am so sugared up. <laughs> what were your top three? Ginger snaps, shaka chalk, the peppermint, my top three. Yeah my top three would be in no particular order the exploding bonbons, the peppermint toads, and the shaco chocolate or shaco choco or shaco chalk. So we were very similar <laughs> yeah and even though you picked this and I picked this they're same, same color. Same colors. Aww. Well, that is the candy that you can purchase at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Thank you for coming back and being part of another video. Thank you for having me. This was a really good video to be is part of. Is this the shirt you bought at the Platform 9 3 quarters yes. store in London? Shout out to Rodney. Hey, Rodney. Hi, Rodney. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything you saw in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and, and until, until next time. time. Hi, my name is Teresa, and keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help, but for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?